for all intents and purposes, there are two Chiari malformations, Chiari 1 and Chiari 2. Some people define Chiari 0, 3 and 4, but they're not clinically relevant, and actually 3 and 4 are not survivable. The Chiari 1 is an isolated problem with just the cerebellum poking out through the opening in the skull into the neck. In very simple terms, the back part of the skull is a little bit too small, the brain's a bit too big, and that causes the lower part of the brain, the cerebellum, to jam itself in to the spine. And that can affect the way the fluid flows between the brain and spine, and these patients can get really quite severe headaches, or coughing, sneezing. Some of them will start to get problems with balance, some will get double vision, and a whole plethora of other sort of non-specific symptoms. A number will get hydrocephalus and something called syringomyelia. That's a completely different disease process to a Chiari 2 malformation, which is always associated with an open spina bifida. And this is a developmental problem that occurs well before birth. It's a situation where the nerves in the lower back actually don't go down to legs, bladder or bowel, end up coming out on the skin and this drags the brain stem down as opposed to just the cerebellum and that's the Chiari 2, a very different problem and a very different disease process.